Well, new this morning, Idaho's wildfire seasons are 30 to 60 days longer than in past decades because of our changing climate. That's what Idaho's state forester recently told a congressional subcommittee. And as our Doug Pat Cash tells us, he also explained how partnerships are working to reduce the risk of fires by making Idaho's forests healthier. We can't change the weather, but we can change the condition of our forests. State Forester Craig Foss testified before a House Natural Resources Subcommittee about the relationship between drought, wildfires, and forest health. He said more than 8 million acres of Idaho's forest land are in declining condition, leaving them at high risk of insect problems, disease, and wildfires. Foss also talked about collaborative efforts to fix that. In December of 2018, the state of Idaho and the U.S. Department of Agriculture entered into what's called a shared stewardship agreement. Under the agreement, the state and the U.S. Forest Service pool resources, share expertise, and make decisions to improve the health of forests across Idaho. For this Sunday's Viewpoint, Foss talked about that collaboration and efforts to improve forest health to reduce the risk of wildfires. There's an awful lot of federal land out there. It touches all of us. It's not just a federal problem, it's our problem. And we all need to roll up our sleeves and look at how we can work on that together. And, and so Idaho started looking at what are opportunities, what are initiatives that will enable us to come alongside our federal partners and, and hopefully be part of the solution. The collaborations are not only among government agencies. Private forest landowners are involved too. They can get grants to thin the trees and remove underbrush in the woods around their properties and homes. Statewide Shared Stewardship Coordinator Aira Andrea says forestry experts lead them through the process. Their purpose is to provide that outreach, education, contact the landowners, and then go out and do a site visit, giving them the technical assistance, showing them what needs to be treated, uh, how to do it. And then we have means of offering financial assistance to private landowners in these targeted areas to get the treatment done. We bring in, as a team, we bring in the operators to get the work done, and it gets completed. In his testimony, Foss also called for more funding for climate change research, forest management, wildfire prevention, and reforestation. In other words, planting a lot of trees. He says it will take many years of work to restore forested watersheds in Idaho. In Boise, Doug Petcash, Idaho's News Channel 7. And you can learn a lot more about the relationship between drought, wildfires, and forest health by watching Viewpoint with Doug. It's coming up this Sunday morning at 6.30 right here on KTVB.